Well, uh, thanks to Electoral Integrity Project to invi for inviting me to this very relevant workshop. Uh, in this paper, uh, I will try to show that the overestimation of vote intention in favor of Enrique Peña Nieto may, may be considered as a indirect measure of what I call vote induction. Uh, in some way, uh, it seems to me that I have two dependent variables. Uh, I have a manifest and or observable variable, the overestimation of vote intention for Peña Nieto, and a latent or inobservable variable, vote induction. Um, recent and extensive protests about the electoral integrity of the two 2012 president election in Mexico are, are well known. A good part of analysts ha has focused their accusation on alleged responsibility to the electoral to the Federal Electoral Institute IFE. Most polling agency estimated the vote intention in favor of the winning candidate above or well above of what the election result data will show a posteriori. This convergence among many of the pollster was interpreted as evidence of a clear manipulation. Most polling, most polling agency estimate the vote intention in, fa in favor of, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Mm. In a different manner to that argument, I claim in this paper that the overestimation of the vote intention for Peña Nieto was a consequence of a specific contextual effect and not of a pollster manipulative intention. Um, therefore, the purpose of this study is to assess the magnitude of Peña Nieto's overestimation of vote intention and it correlates during the 2012 election. To this end, this article compares data provided by the polling firms to IFE to IFE's final official result. With this data, I measure at state level the overestimation of the vote intention for Enrique Peña Nieto. This is the manifest dependent variable of the work. Uh, in, 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 in this figure one, um, bars blue show the overestimation of uh, vote intention for Enrique Peña Nieto and the underestimation for the vote in, um, and the under, underestimation of vote intention for Andrés Manuel López Obrador. Uh, um, figure two uh, shows uh, the overestimation of vote intention for Enrique Peña, for Enrique Peña Nieto and the underestimation uh, of vote intention of uh, Josefina Vázquez Mota, the other candidate. Uh, my main hypothesis is that state electoral context influenced the electorate, the mechanisms through which the state context produced biases in the service seems to have been an intense intense degree of political and social mobilization driven by some state government agency and parties. This degree of mobilization will have generate a ban and ban wagon effect. Uh, as it is well know, the bad wagon effect produced people policy endorsing the group response 
given a context favorable to the PRI, mainly in the state governed by PRI, this effect in turn generated the overestimation of the intention vote for Enrique Peña Nieto that the service show it. What is vote induction? Uh, thank you. Vote induction is a, is a complex concept and uh, this concept has several disadvantage compared to more established concepts like fraud, electoral malpractice, or vote buying. The conceptual enterprise of this paper is to propose so, some guidelines that contribute to the conceptualization and measurement of the VAG and OPEC concept of vote induction. Uh, in this sense, vote induction is a type of electoral manipulation. Similarly to other types of electoral manipulation, vote induction opera operates in the shadow of the law, satisfying the domestic legal framework. Vote induction involves the introduction of bias and limited that limit a rational, informed, and free vote of elector, whereas fraud involves the introduction of bias into the administration of election. Vote induction implies the openness to bias that affect the individual's electoral choice process. Vote induction may resemble vote buying. However, but buying occurs when party and candidate promise or deliver material benefits selectively only to their supporter. Differently, vote induction is addressed to a specific group or communities regardless of who are supporter and who are opponents. Once voters realize the supply of a public good by a public official or political party for the world community, the community itself will become responsible for ensuring that everyone's vote for, for the subler candidate. This promise, this promise of a public good produced that leader of the town or communities were, mo more, were mobilized to invite all community members to support the superior party or candidate. Such a message is transformed in, into a mandate that in a climate of mutual monitoring, lead people to respond in the polls for the party that promises the benefits. My proposed working definition for vote indu induction refers to all deliber deliberate strategy by election official or other electoral stakeholder to find, to find and to take systematically biased electoral decision which distort the individual or collective will of, of the voter. Okay. Uh, the, the values of the dependent variable were calculated by subtracting the percent of vote obtained by, by Enrique Peña Nieto during the election day, the if a final data from the voting intention declared in the polls on average, on average by state. A state where the unit of analysis, there is avail uh, available data for only 22 states of the 32 Mexican states. Um, following the literature on fraud, malpractice, and electoral manipulation in Mexico, the independent variable I use in this paper were Municipal, mi municipal population size, mu municipal marginal levels, electoral competitiveness, state govern governed by the PRI, divided the government, concurrent election at the state, at, at state, state, state level, sorry, the difference between 2012 and 2011 in federal contribution per capita received by the state, and the difference between two, 2012 and 2011 uh, 11 in public debt in the state. Okay. Uh, these are three models that I uh, design. Uh, 
In model one, all theoretical relevant independent variables were en entered. Results showed that two variables have a statistically signif significant effect on the overestimation of the intention to vote for Peña Nieto. A state rolled by the pre and federal contribution per capita. Model two introduced an institutional variable, concurrent election at, st at state level, a political variable, state governed by pre, and a variable on electoral cycles. Okay. Uh, finally, the model three uh, reveals that a state ruled by the pre and the and that received major federal contribution per capita increased the overestimation of the intention to vote in a statistically significant manner. Final remark, uh, result showed that two variables had a statistical significant effect on the overestimation of the intention to vote for Peña Nieto, a state ruled by the PRI and federal contribution per capita. Surprisingly, other variables that had been shown to have large effect of, of vote buying at the individual level were not related to the dependent variable of this study. This is the case of municipal population size and municipal marginal level. Several of the hypotheses te were tested at the aggregate level due to the unavailability of individual level data. They need to be tested at a larger state of this work. Many of the, these hypotheses require, require not only survey data at the individual level, but also experimental design data. Further research is needed. Thank you. <laughs>